Good evening. The things what are happening right now is really incredible. We can't believe this. I'm talking about COVID-19, the corona virus. It is bad, <clears throat> it is scary, and uh, it should not have happened. I know that. But is there anything good in it? Everything happens for the reason. Let us uh, look into this event for some positive impact, positive things. I think there is beauty in it. There is something mysterious. Mysteriousness is about God. God is a mystery. Coronavirus, it's a parallel. It's mysterious. You can't see it. It's invisible. Actually, the human species known as Homo sapiens have evolved some four million years ago. That is 40 lakhs of years ago. So our history is quite old. So far, the human beings are different from others in the sense that this species is a species of hope, believing in God. 250,000 years ago, Neanderthals, they were the first inventors of God's spirituality. They buried their dead. In their tombs we can find symbols, artifacts, even beads, some mysterious things which suggest that the humans believe in God. So we are talking about the transcendental God. There are two types. One is transcendence, another one is immanent. So far we have been very much interested to promote the transcendent, the transcendental aspect of God, which is mostly considered to be a philosophical outcome, metaphysics. For the past 2000 to I would say 4,000 years, it was very intense, the pursuit of the transcendental God and the worship of transcendental God was very much taken up by humanity very seriously. Temples were built, churches were built, spirituality was made, dogmas were decreed. For the past 2000 years, all religions, they talk about transcendental God, mostly the monotheistic religions. The COVID-19 in 2000, I mean 2020, 2020, has shut down 
the mindset, the transcendental mindset. No churches, no temples, no rituals, no dogmas, no Swamiji's, no priests, no bishops, no cardinals, no popes. Even the greatest festival like Easter was celebrated in private. The transcendental showdown is locked down by COVID-19. There are so many lockdowns. Transcendental understanding of God. It is good. I'm not telling it is bad. Still it is valid. We should go to churches, temples. Yeah, sure, we should do that. But COVID-19 completely locked down all the places of worship. But there is a positive implication in all this. That is the birth of new consciousness has started. That means the understanding of the immanent God, a God who is present here in everything, in stones, in air, in water, in soil, in plants and animals and humans, everywhere, the immanent God. So I think it is a birth of new consciousness is emerging right now. I think thanks to COVID-19, I think four million years, enough of contemplating on a transcendental God, what is beyond our reach, you can't see him. He's somewhere there. But the immanent God, that is the concept. So that is what people have been celebrating for the past one or two months. Churches closed, temples closed, the place of worship locked down. But you can't lock up God. God is not locked up. He is available everywhere, every minute. Not only during Mass or during prayer, during rituals, during religious celebration. He is available 24 hours, 7 days a week. Hey, what do you want? He is Emmanuel, God with us. Pope Francis, in his recent encyclical, Laudato Si, in the article number 99, he talks about the importance of the immanent God. We need to educate our people. It is, time has come to understand and to develop and teach people how to celebrate this immanent God, the Emmanuel, who is living among us. The transcendental God is still good. Yeah, sure, God can be transcendental and at the same time immanent. That's why he is God. Humans, we can never be that. We can't be transcendental. At the same time immanent but God can do that both because he is God so the paragraph number 99 Lauda to see Pope Francis writes as follows in the Christian understanding of the world the destiny of all creation is bound up with the mystery of Christ present from the beginning all things have been created through him and for him. 
the prologue of the gospel of saint john reveals christ creative work as the divine word logos but then unexpectedly the prologue goes on to say that this same word became flesh and dwelt among us that is gospel of st john chapter 1 verse 14 god of immanence the manuel he has pitched his tent among us It's right here with us the whole world is is a sacrament filled with god's presence one person of the trinity entered into the created cosmos right spot branches throwing in his lot with it even to the cross from the beginning of the world but particularly through the incarnation the mystery of christ is at work in a hidden manner in the natural world as a whole without thereby impinging on its autonomy that is paragraph number 99 from the encyclical laudato si written by pope francis i think time has come i think we need to educate our people into the understanding of god of immanence god of transcendence we are masters of it everybody is owning phd in the understanding of god of transcendence but god of the understanding of god of immanence all of us zero 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 i think the new epoch has come i think we need to stay home i need to look at my environment around me and find god find my temple find my church find my dogma find my faith and we relate with other creatures in the environment hey i find the god of immanence <clears throat> for francis again he writes in the paragraph number 240 of the encyclical laudato si as follows the human person grows more matures more and is sanctified more to the extent that he or she enters into relationships going out from themselves to live in communion with god with others that means humans and with all creatures that is rest of creation i think covid 19 has made us to come to this wonderful understanding of god of immanence it's a shift i mean it is not contradicting god of transcendence and god of immanence they are not contrasting or conflicting no they are complementing they are one is enriching the other our religious leaders they have done a good job of educating us in the understanding of god of transcendence 
now it is time has come each and every one of us there are no religious leaders here there are no pontiffs there are no uh, dogmas it is our dna <coughs> our natural instinct in other words inspiration in other words spirituality god is already glazed in our deoxyribonucleic acid god is in dna that is the temple st paul is talking about don't you know that we are temple of god that is our dna god is here god can't come from out to in he can go out from in to out faith is here god is here thank you covid 19 for this understanding making a great shift from god of transcendence to god of immanence good luck let us search for the god of immanence